Okay, so you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to create a pivot table based on multiple sheets. In this example, the sheets have different column headings. The data is related, but the sheets have different column headings. If you're after an example where each sheet has the same column headings, then I've done another video for that scenario and I'll leave a link to it in the top right hand corner of this video. So essentially I need to join this data together via these ID fields. So we've got a sales rep ID, which is going to relate to the sales rep ID in this sheet. And then I've got a product ID column in the transactions table that needs to link to the products sheet via the same column product ID. Now your first step is to put each of these data sets in an Excel table. So all you do is you click in a cell, control T, on your keyboard, click on OK, and then give the table a name, and that'll be up in this table name box, top left-hand corner of your screen. So that one can be called Transactions, Control T, Products, Control T, Sales, Reps, no spaces allowed in a table name. So then what you do is you go back to one of the tables, you click somewhere in it, go to insert, pivot table from table range. I'm gonna put it on a new worksheet and I must tick this option, add this data to the data model. Click on okay. I'll move the sheet to the end of the workbook. Now, what you'll notice is, is that if I go to the All tab here, all of the data sets are now available to me within the pivot table. And that's because I put them all in tables and I specified that I wanted to add the data to the data model. Now, what I need to do is establish some relationships between these tables. And I can do that up here using the Relationships button, and that's on the Pivot Table Analyze tab. So I then click on new and the foreign key table is going to be the transactions table. Now the reason I know it's the foreign key table is because each product ID or each sales rep ID can appear multiple times in that table. So for example, if I was trying to link the sales rep table to the transactions table, my foreign key would be sales rep ID within that table and then the related table would be the sales rep table and the primary key would be the sales rep ID. So the sales rep ID can only appear once. So each sales rep ID is unique within that table, but it can appear many times within this table. So then I click on OK. And then I'll create a relationship with the product table. So again, my foreign column or foreign key would be product ID. So the product ID can appear many times in this table, as in a product can be bought many times in many transactions. And the related table would be the product table where each product will only appear once. So click on OK, and I've established both of my relationships so I can close this down. Now, what I want is from the product table, the description of the products in columns. Now I don't want all of the products listed. Let's say I only want the first three. And then from the sales rep table, I want to list the sales reps names. And again, let's say I only want the top five, alphabetically that is. So what I want to do is work out the revenue achieved for each of these products by each of these sales reps. Now, if I go to the transactions table, you can see that I've got quantity purchased plus a reference to the product that was purchased, but I've got no actual unit price. Now the unit price is actually in the products table. So what I need to do is I need to multiply that value in that field, the unit price field, by the quantity in the transactions table. So I need to create what's called a measure to do this. 
And to get to measures, you'll need to show the power pivot tab on your ribbon. And if you can't see it, it's an add on and you go to file options, add ins, where it says manage, and it currently says Excel add ins, change that to com add ins, click on go and make sure that Microsoft power pivot for Excel is ticked there and you'll get this power pivot tab on your ribbon. So once you're on that ribbon, go to the measures button, new measure. Now we're going to store the measure in the transactions table. So make sure that's selected from this drop down. Give the measure a name. So we'll say transaction value. I'm not going to bother with the description. Now the formula will use the sum x function and the table that the sum x function is going to reference is the transactions table again comma and then you're on to expression so that's the formula you want to perform so that'll be quantity which is in the transactions table multiplied by unit price in the product table now because it's in a different table you have to use the related function to reference it and there you can see i get a list of all the columns in related tables so i want products unit price close the bracket and then close the bracket for some X. And I can even check whether this formula is okay by clicking on check formula, no errors in formula found. And I can specify a format. So I said currency, pound sterling, two decimal places. Click on okay. And you can see it now populates my pivot table with those calculations. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.